get it again. I would. I probably won't, but I would. <laughs> Starting in this corner as usual, I got some of this coleslaw because tonight we're gonna have egg roll in a bowl. So this is the kind that I like to use. And I think this was only like $1.79. I needed some little Smokies. I have a Halloween party to go to on Sunday, so I'm making little Smokies um, wrapped up inside of a croissant. So I got two packs of these. We're gonna have the wonton strips inside of our egg roll in a bowl. These are so good. I put these in just regular salads. These are amazing. I really like them even better than croutons actually. And they're just good to snack on. They're yummy. I grabbed some watermelon chunks. These ones looked pretty good. I hope they're sweet and not icky. I needed some carrots for tonight's egg roll in a bowl. I usually get matchstick, but they only had one bag left and they were nasty looking. So I'm gonna have to just cut these up into little bits, little strips or circles, I don't know. And then I also have a zucchini to fry up in it. We usually don't do zucchini in egg roll in a bowl, but one time we did and we loved it, so we're gonna do it again. I might as well just do this whole end right now. I needed a, some onions, so I grabbed a couple of those. And then here is a local thing. This is a local brand called Rico, and they make everything authentic. And this is authentic Mexican rice, and it is delicious. Oh my gosh, it's like a restaurant. And their refried beans are insane. They are so good, homemade just like a restaurant. So I grabbed some of those. I usually buy their pork tamales as well, but I still have one in the freezer, so I decided not to buy one, um, not to buy a bag. I'll just finish up what I have. And then for a taste test, we're gonna have a few things. This is the Pepsi Cola Cream Soda. I've never seen this before. They also had a Cherry Cola cream, I don't know, a cherry cola soda shop. I'm not sure what it's all about, but I love cream soda, so we're gonna try this. Um, I love this True Lemon. I drink it all the time in my water, so I have a watermelon one and a peach. Those are my two favorite flavors. Daryl likes his Dunford white bread, so I got him a pack of that. We're gonna try these today as well. These are Boo Chips. Happy Halloween. Aren't these clever? Um, I'm wondering if maybe they're like a cross between a Muncho and a Pringle or something. I don't know. They're by Rick's Chips. I'm not sure if this is a local Utah thing or what. But we're gonna give them a try. They look kind of funky. <laughs> those over there. Daryl wanted some plain lays, so I got him some of those. I got the cheapest butter I could find today. This was uh, $5.99 a pound. $5.99 for this. I didn't go to Walmart. I went to Harmon's today. But I needed butter. It is what it is. So I grabbed two. And they did have some unsalted butter that was a little cheaper, but I don't, I like salted butter. I grabbed two Chobani flips. These are the key lime crumble. Super good. They've got a little corner of little graham cracker crumbs and then the key lime yogurt. I love them. And then here are the crescent rolls that I bought for my little wieners. These were two for $2.79, so I bought four. Because sometimes I need more than two tubes to make my two packs of wieners. Um, and this time I just decided, well, I'll get three, but then I'm like, well, I don't get the deal if I don't get another can, so I got four. But I love these, you can never have too many. And we're gonna try this today, Almond Breeze Nog. Are you kidding? And it's thick, I can tell. I was like, is this thick or is it just nog-flavored 
almond breeze, but it's thick. It's like eggnog, so I'm excited to try it. 70 calories a serving. Are you kidding? That's amazing for a half cup. Um, maybe not that amazing, but we'll see. And then the best part of this shopping trip was a free thing of ground beef. I have awards points at my store, and this was only... 487 which was a bargain anyway and I got it for free and I had no idea but she rang me up and it was free super exciting I was feeling a little nutty and so I grabbed some dry roasted peanuts I usually get the store brand but they didn't have any all they had was planters because I like you know they're the same type of thing but cheaper but I'll deal with with the price increase, I just love nuts. <laughs> and last but not least, I have my favorite Powerade drinks. These were four for five. I like the citrus peach, so I got two citrus peach and two orange. And that's it for my grocery haul. Let's try those yummy taste tests, shall we? We have Nog and Pepsi and Boo Chips. So, I'm gonna grab my little cup here. I love these little these little cups from Dollar Tree, the little Coca-Cola ones. I love to sip juice out of these. I just love it. So, um, first things first, let's try this cola. This is not refrigerated. It was just on the shelf, so it's not warm. I mean, it's not cold at all, but that's okay. I love cream soda, especially red and blue cream sodas. Oh. It smells creamy and cola-y. I don't know if this is supposed to be like cream soda or a cream cola. It says cream soda cola, but we'll see. thumbs down. First of all, it looked like there were a lot of bubbles, but it tastes flat. Well, I guess it's not really, I guess it's just kind of in the middle. It is cream soda cola. It tastes like Pepsi and it tastes like cream soda. It's really good, but I guess it just needs to be more, maybe I just need it to have it to be cold. It's all right. I would get it again. I would. I probably won't, but I would. Now we're gonna try some nog. I like to say eggnog, but this says nog. Let's see. I love almond breeze. I that's all I drink is just almond breeze. I get the vanilla unsweetened, and I always put it in my shakes or smoothies, and in my cereal. Oh, it's so good. And I love eggnog, a good eggnog, but it's so fattening. I will not get it here in Utah. There's Winder Dairy. It's just this family-owned farm, and it and they sell the best eggnog along with produce and meat and things that you could ever imagine. And like a fourth cup is a thousand calories, so I, I won't get it. Ooh, pretty thick. Doesn't smell like anything. Let's try. Mmm. I thought I had, I thought something crunchy or something hit my lips, but it, nothing crunchy hit my lips. It's really quite tasty. It's cinnamony and nutmeggy. It's thick. Not bad for almond milk. I like it. I like it a lot. 
So a whole cup would be 140 calories, but this is really tasty. It's good. I really like it. This would be amazing in a bowl of oatmeal. Oh my gosh. Mm. Or like pouring it on top of a peach cobbler. That would be good. Because it's not as noggy as normal eggnog. I mean, it's thick, but it's not super duper duper thick. And it doesn't have that strong nutmeg flavor that some eggnogs have. This is just, and you can almost tell that it's kind of nutty. It's kind of got that nutty almond flavor. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, let's try these boo chips. They're cute. They just look like a bag of ghosts. A bag of dehydrated ghosts. I don't even know how much they were. I think they were two something. They smell potato-y. Hmm. Check that out. Hmm. cross between a muncho and a Pringle and a regular potato chip. These are good. Puffed potato snack. They're really good. Super cute. And they'd be great with a dip. They're not too thin that you wouldn't be able to dip it into something and it'd break off. These are really good. Yeah. Rick did a great job. These are Rick's chips. He did a great job. And with that, we are finished. I'm going to put the rest of my groceries away, and yeah, everything was really good. I'd recommend it all, even the cream soda Pepsi. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you had a fun visit with me today, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.